Alright, time for B. Now, once again, I'm going to try and do this the same way I did A. I'm going to talk about the points of interest, I'm going to talk about ways to defend this, ways to attack it, etc, etc. Once it also, once again, I have no idea if this is going to take more than 10 minutes. If it does, then I'm going to cut it into multiple things, blah, blah, blah. I've already talked about that when I did A. Hopefully you're watching these in order. Anyway. Alright, let's talk about B. Alright then. Normally I'm going to talk about sentry spots first from the defensive perspective. Um, in short, dark side you put a sentry, light side don't put a sentry really, but on this little ramp right here is another, it's another good spot. Um, typically it's good to have somebody watching the rooftop to challenge the attacking side from coming up here. Uh, more specifically with this sentry bit, you want to be right about here and then put a, jump up and put a sentry right here on this little edge of this ramp facing him in the same direction I am. Another good spot, which I've seen people do it in the past, they put a sentry right here next to the health pack. But more recently, I've seen teams put their sentry gun right about here, somewhere on this little stretch in the dark side of the building. Um, the direction you want it to face is typically about right here, so that it pans left and right. However, when you do put it down, it's best to put it like right close enough to be able to catch people as they come out the door. However, that's not that's not really mandatory, but it's pretty useful to do that because typically when it went when or if the sentry ever gets destroyed, it will be from because of some push coming in through here. Uh, Assuming, of course, that the uh, the attacking side has already taken the A point, which is normally the first one to go in a gravel pit match. Now, um, let's see what to talk about. As I said earlier, you want to have somebody w sitting on the roof, not necessarily at all times, but typically. Um, the way that you can c sustain somebody on the roof is periodically, from, w from the medic's perspective, is to meet them at about right here, from the medic's perspective. And if you're about right here, you can just barely reach a guy as he's sitting over here on the corner. So if you're pl if you're playing on the rooftop, um, this could be a roamer or it could be a demo man, your pick, whatever your team decides to do. You have him come to the edge of the thing. Doesn't have to be this corner, but anywhere usually along this edge right here, and then have him call for heals on your comms. And the medic will should usually be in a position to be able to heal heal him if he's going to be on the edge right there. And that's a very nice way to sustain your roamer or demo. Um, typically you have your pocket rotating, if you, assuming that your sentry goes right here, you want your pocket to rotate forward and backward around here. Um, if the attacking side decides to use a sniper right through here, if you're playing medic, your first instinct should be to get the hell out of sight. And since, it's, since, it's, since it is a rather tight angle, excuse the stuttering, since it is a rather tight angle, you want to have your medic not really go past this point when you're doing this. So typically if your pocket is going to be rotating forward and backward and you see a sniper you're going to want him to have him come back and either rotate on this uh... rotate from being over here going up and down on this ramp maybe looking through the window if you can to coming back here falling off and jumping back on um, that's assuming of course that the sentry is going to be about here now if your sentry goes over here on the dark side of the building you want your pocket combo to rotate from here to the other side to watch the back so it's, it's more of a long path really you want to have him go from about here, patrolling this area, maybe coming up over here to check the front side, but typically you're going to want to save the engaging of this whole area right here to your roamer and your scouts and everybody else. Um, the reason I'm saying that you guys should uh, hold back around this area is because you is because you want to keep your medic alive and this house is basically a wall protecting you from them. Assuming of course they decide to get their act together and come through these sides right here. And from the attacking perspective, this is where most of the successful pushes into the B point will come from. And once again, you can only really come through here if you've already taken the A point, which is yet again another reason for you to take the A point first. But um, what usually happens is the defensive side after you take A will assume that you're going to come in from the B to A connector, which is right here. And you're going to come out here, and then they'll have like the roamer or somebody, maybe a demo man or something like that, sitting on this little rooftop, waiting for you to come out. And uh, if you're on the attacking side, and you think that this is what they're going to do, you can just like change it up and just go through C. And then go from the C to B connector. Either left or right, doesn't really make much of a difference. Well, actually it does. If their sentry is over here, typically the sentry will not be good enough to, to shoot you if you are back here, kind of like jumping up and down, trying to ta attack the sentry, but... Uh, if, if the opposing side's communication is good, which most teams do have good enough communication to do this, whenever you're defensive and you see the opposing side peeking out of this doorway right here, you got to call that. 
very important that you do so. Whoever's on whoever's on is on your roof will be in the best position, I think, to take care of it because he has a very good angle on both of the doorways. Pretty much every single choke point can be pressured. Least of all this one right here, but still pretty, but still well enough, I think, can be pressured pretty well from the rooftop. So it's very important that you maintain control of that when you're defending the point because you don't want somebody coming up here, putting. St getting over here and putting stickies right here on your sentry if it's there or coming over here and putting stickies or rockets down here onto your sentry in the dark side so it's very I've, I'm talking a lot about the roof it's very important to have control of that during the defensive portion of B um, snipers if you decide to use a sniper typically you'll have him watch this patrol this area pretty much so that he's far enough away to be out of danger of pushes and peaks that come out of the door on the far end of your screen down there in the back and you can still have him at the same time watch the long hallway to A. If he feels safe enough, he can drift forward over here and get this nice little angle right here on uh, watching the short B hallway. Whereas this is the long B hallway, but I've already talked about the vocabulary. Um, I feel as if I'm running out of time. I don't really know. I don't have a clock on me. Um, pushes that come out of this doorway typically are not as successful because from here, even though you have okay, you have decent enough cover, you don't really have anywhere to go because once you fall, you can you can so rotate over here sh uh, surely, but from here it's not very easy to rocket jump off of this ramp and get onto this rooftop because like I, like I keep talking about, you want control of the roof when you're pushing inward. Once you can do that, you have a good, you're in a pretty good position. Um, typically you see teams use sentries, so it's important to take those things out when you make an uber push. Um, crits are pretty useful ma when making a push, but I personally would go with an uber. That's that's sort of a topic of debate, though. Um, I'm trying to think of more, more stuff to talk about. Um, sitting on the actual B point is not really necessary from the defensive perspective. Not as much necessary as... Y your strategy is not necessarily to keep them off to like go on the point and keep them off of it, but rather to surround the point and prevent them from going onto it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the general mindset when it comes to defending these things. C as well, but in C's perspective, since it's a tower, I'll get to that later. From C perspective, since because it's because it is a tower, you can uh, sit on the point and prevent them from rocket jumping and whatnot onto there. And that's a that's a very useful tack, probably the most preferred one. But yes, I feel as if I'm running out of time, and I'm kind of running out of things to talk about or things to, things to take note of, so I'm just going to cut it off right here. So I'm done, now I'm going to talk about C, which is, should be in the next video.